Hi! I know it's only the 26th of July but as you can see my room is done. Well, you can't really see, this is just a sneak preview because I am planning on doing a room tour video. If you guys want to see that then just thumbs up this video and leave a comment down below if you want to see it. Um, let's just get started because I am boiling hot. It is really hot today. Hmm. Anyway, my first favourite in no order is a DVD, Identity Thief. Um, I love Melissa McCarthy and she is hilarious in this. Um, I love this. I saw it on the plane going to New York um, in last month and it was so funny. I had to buy this as soon as it came out and I could watch this all day, every day, just over and over again and not get bored of it because it's so funny. You have to, you should go and see this. Or buy it, I should say. Another thing that I've been using this month a lot is Oceanside by Bath and Body Works Candles. This smells just amazing. It's all got black bits on it, like where the wick has like, I don't know, flicked its black bits off. Now, I don't know how to get that out because it won't come off, so if you can like help me with that, that would be good. So I've never had a Bath and Body Works candle before. I do intend to get some more though because I really want to go back. Sorry, if I'm all sweaty in this video, it's because it's literally like a thousand degrees. Sorry. Um, another th favourite is a clothing favourite. I have been into dresses. Yeah. Um, I know if, if you know me, then you will know I'm always wearing jeans like I am today. And my dream ca dream catcher t-shirt. Um, but I have been into dresses and I got this one from ASOS Curve. It's probably my favourite dress right now. It's this. I did show it in another video but my camera was all wiggling about and I had the dark green plaster background if you remember. So yeah, it's this. It is so pretty, it's like a stretchy stuff. It's gorgeous, I think it was £25 from ASOS Curve, I believe. It's a bit dog furry right now. Uh, hazard of living in this house. <laughs> Seriously, another favourite. My new MacBook Air. I love this. I love it. Um, I couldn't edit videos before, as you knew, because my laptop died. So I had to just film them on my iPhone and upload them from that. So it was all like wiggling about and things. But now, tripod, digital camera, background. What's it called? iMovie. Editing. That's what I'm going to do today. Edit my first video. This is the first video because it's Friday today. My dad might be coming out of hospital today because he's in, he's had his prostate seen to yesterday, so, yeah. I don't know, you didn't really need to know that really, did you, but, yeah. Um, I have a hair favourite and it's it's a 10, Miracle Leave-In product. I find this better for my hair because it's so fine and it's flat that if I spray it into my hand and then just massage it into the ends, that's much better for me because if I spray it directly on it's kind of a thicker product it's not just like a fine mist and it kind of weighs my hair down and it feels a bit crispy too which that's not good but yeah haven't really worn any makeup this month for the simple reason that we have a summer for once um, it's finally summer and we actually have a summer which is unusual for here in England that's for sure um, last summer it was just a complete washout so people were complaining. This summer it is red hot, like seriously boiling. It's hotter here than it was in New York, which, and I was melting there too, but, um, so people are still complaining now that it's too hot, but it's summer, so shut up, okay? <laughs> um, so as I said, I haven't worn much makeup. I've been using this, which is my Nearly Naked powder. This is my second one of these. Um, and I got it in the light pale. The fair shade was just a little bit too pale for me, even though I am quite pale. I just apply that with this Real Techniques brush, which I should have cleaned before I um, filmed this video, but I'm just gonna... <sighs> so warm. Um, the Colour Tattoo, Bath to the Bronze, which I wanted for forever. Um, it's so, so good. I've got it a little bit on my eye. eye my eyeshadows? No. I've got a little bit on my eyelids right now, but you can't probably tell because I'm just so red hot. 
Uh, this was $6.99 from Right Aid. And you can't get this colour in England, by the way. Um, the equivalent, I think the equivalent is on and on, on and on bronze. But this is called Bad to the Bronze and it just sounds better. So, um, I've been using that with their Real Mascara by Benefit. It's just a small sample size. It's either this one or the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, which is a dupe for Bad Gal Lash Mascara from Benefit. The brush and everything, the formula is the same, but it doesn't flake as much as the Bad Gal does on me. And it's just, it's a little bit cheaper, so it's a win-win. Um, oh, I forgot to get my primer out. It's in a, a makeup bag, I think it's downstairs. It's the um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I just put that a little bit on, just to put the powder over the top, and that's it. I am done for, the, for my makeup, that's it. Sunscreen, of course, but that's all. You know what I wish they'd invent? You know the aerosol sunscreens that you, you get? Um, I've got a Nivea one. Um, you can spray it all over your body but it says don't use it on your face but I wish they'd invent something like that for your face. Or those Urban Decay makeup setting sprays that you get. I wish they'd put SPF in those because then you don't have to worry about taking your makeup off to put sunscreen on to put your makeup back on. But I, I don't see the point. Um, so yeah. I hope someone will invent one of those one day. Another favourite, well, favourite for this month. I don't think I'd repurchase this to be honest once it's run out but I will use it all. It's the Illuminating Touch Brightening Concealer by Collection 2000. Um, I think this was about £4.50 and it just comes with a brush applicator. It's kind of like, like the applicator of the YSL concealer. But it's a bit too thick. I know I'm complaining about that. Normally I'd complain if it's a bit too thin for under your eyes, a bit too liquidy. Because um, it just, it doesn't seem to cover anything. But this is a bit too thick um, in that it you can't blend it so well. Um, it does cover things. I do have really dark circles. Um, and it does cover them but it's just a bit too thick and it irritates slightly. Not so much that I wouldn't use it but it does, if that makes sense. Next I have two lip products. One is uh, Revlon, it's the Sorbet Lip Butter. Could anyone else never get these things open? It just looks like this, it's a beautiful bright pink colour. And I, I just wear it a little bit sheer though, I just smear it on, uh, like, what's that word? Blend with my finger and that's it because I don't like it so like in your face but it's a very pretty colour. This is also a bright pink and it's Faint for Fuchsia by Maybelline, the Colour Whispers, which we also don't have in the UK right now. Not fair. Um, it just looks like this, it's so pretty. I got this in New York. Um, yeah, that's a favourite. Also the baby lips are favourites. I've got Pink Punch and Juice, no not Juicy Papaya. I can't remember the pe oh, peach kiss I think it's called and I've also got some on order from Boots because they've finally started selling them in the UK but they're only available so far on Boots website so I've ordered like four of them so I'll have the full six that they've got in England. I think the last thing that I've got oh no I've got a toothpaste or not is that weird that I've got a toothpaste as my favourite but I have it's Crest Complete Multi Benefit Whitening Plus something whatever that says um scope and I, I don't know what that, I can't I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce it I got two of these in New York this is the second one and I really like this it tastes really nice I haven't really seen it whitening my teeth as much or anything at all really it just brightens but I do really like this toothpaste and it's a shame I didn't get more because it was cheap and it's a nice toothpaste um the last thing that I do have is <coughs> Sorry. The last thing that I do have is Cupcake Face Mask from uh, Lush. Now this is actually out of date now because I forgot to use it because we had so much going on with decorating my room and rushing around trying to finish this and so getting my new bed and the mattress sorted because that was a nightmare. Um, I ordered the bed and the mattress. The bed and the mattress came and the mattress were all bent so I had to wait another few days for that to be sorted so I had to use my old mattress on the new bed for a few days 
until it's swapped over and then I'll of course my dad going into hospital and everything I haven't had time to use this so I, no I haven't had time to use the rest of it it's like there's about half of it left but it's it's gone off now it's kind of I don't know if that's kind of like fur or something in it but I'm not going to use it because that's gross it's about 11 days out of date which I'm not going to use that now um, I just wanted to empty the tub out and um, like save them because you save five pot fo bring back five clean full size lush pots or tubes and get one face mask free so I'm going to do that but I'm going to go back to the BBC weed because this it was supposed to be it says it says on it chocolate heaven for oily and teenage skin now I'm not a teenager but I do have oily skin now my skin is just hating me right now and it says helps absorb excess oil and calm breakouts which I did I did have a few breakouts and I still do but not as many as I did when I come back from New York um cocoa butter linseed and cocoa powder softening with balancing peppermint spearmint and sandalwood oils so I thought this would be really good to absorb the excess oil because the BBC weed from what I remember what it says on the thing it was good for like drier skin which I did have at that time but I'm still gonna go back to that because I just liked it much better and it felt better on your skin it was easier to get off this is a pain to get off and to be honest it kind of when you put put it this way if you scoop your finger into there and you get it on your finger although it smells kind of nice not that nice but yeah it looks pretty damn disgusting if I do say so so that's that I think that's it for my favorites oh this bedding this bedding is in my favorite video but you're gonna have to see this when it's I'm on my no when I do my room tour video which I might try and get filmed next I'll have to be filmed next week now um because my dad might be coming home today or tomorrow or something but I don't have enough time to film it um so yeah that'll be on there but I do I can show you this though this cushion I I'm in love with this I want another few of these I don't know why I don't know when I'm gonna put them because one of them on my bed is enough but I love this it is absolutely amazing yeah I'm kind of into bright colors now um I find that in the autumn time in the winter time I go towards like more dark purple and dark green and stuff but now now that we actually had a summer and the sunshine was out and it made me feel really nice bright bright colors so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about all these bright colors in the winter time but we'll see okay we will see um I think that's pretty much it for my favorite video oh wait a minute <laughs> it's these flip-flops or two I've had these actually for about I would say about five years or so and they still look almost new um and they're comfier than my forever 21 flip-flops um yeah these are from new look or were from new look i don't I, they probably don't sell them anymore these are in a size six i'm normally a five but do, do you find like with sandals when you're wearing them and if you get the your actual shoe size that your toes end up like over the edge of them i don't know if that's just me or what because your foot move forward and then your toes hook over the end so i bought a size bigger in these and i'm glad i did because they're really nice the other one's like right over there and I can't be bothered going to get it because I'm lazy like that. Okay, right, I'm going to go because that's enough rambling on for one day. Um, yeah, so bye. I'll see you in my next video.